Now we have two maps. We must combine them properly. Here it is. There is a side branch to the railway. Its first switch is located between Bridlington and Chesterfield stations. There is one more station to be visited. It is located between Chesterfield and Evesham, and there should be a side railway to the nearby quarry. There is a small section of a railway at the end of Evesham station. is rusted, but it still works. I'm always wondering what's on your mind, Holmes. Minds? This is interesting. It would be quite possible for someone to redirect the train towards the mines. Here are the mines, Holmes. They appear to be abandoned. This is an administrative panel. See what it says. Watson, you are a gentleman, and gentlemen tend to carry handkerchiefs. Might I borrow yours? And where is your own? I haven't the faintest idea. Very well. Here it is. W.E.A. Coal. These mines belong to them. Nothing interesting here. The distance between the tracks is about four feet eight inches. A lightly loaded vehicle came this way. There is a wooden beam lying on the rails. A small vehicle with wooden beams went down this way. This mine has completely collapsed, Holmes. It is curious, but to be truthful, I am not entirely surprised. It's difficult to follow you, Holmes. Someone removed these screws, most probably to take down the rails. A few feet of the rails have been dismantled. This is an unusual kind of paper, stiff and dry. 
It was used for a specific purpose. Let us look inside. Sawdust. I am almost certain it is a... Watson, could you assist, please? Do you have your pistol? Good. Fire at this package. Dynamite. This box must be the safe. Let's open it. The Mexican company Caracal and the Chilean Barcazas both want to buy the mines. I need more information. Perhaps Mycroft could help. Good day to you, sir. My name is Sherlock Holmes, and this is Dr. John Watson. We are investigating the case of the vanished train. Is that so? Well, good day, gentlemen. I am Mr. Duff, the station master of this station. I'll be happy to help you in any way I can, but there's not much that I can tell you about last night.
goodbye, sir. Holmes, look. There's a flooded area over here. Hmm. I believe that the flooded area might be worth checking. Railway post bags. This post bag belongs to the station master. The station master appears to have found himself in some financial trouble. This railway branch should lead to the the switch is rusted, but it still works. The rail is rusted and looks old, but the railway is still usable. here. That is strange. A funny character. He looks anxious. And he is not. Hmm. This scent is familiar to me. But in order to recognize it, I must combine my associations into one picture. A greenish-brown cigar with a strong aroma, a hint of peppermint. Ricardo. You already know the name of this man? Holmes, you amaze me. No, Watson, I refer to the cigar. It is a Ricardo Turrent, a Mexican cigar of an excellent quality. Quite an expensive one, too. This ashtray is full of ash and cigar stubs. A greenish-brown cigar with a strong aroma, a hint of peppermint. These ashes and cigar stubs are similar to the one that we found on the floor. Some of the stubs were recently smoked, 
There are others that appear fairly old. That means that the fellow spent several days here. Judging by his clothes, he's hardly a traveler or a tramp. Well concluded, my dear fellow. A man who smoked the Ricardo brand of Mexican cigar spent several long days at Doncaster Station. Apparently, there was a conflict between the Mexicans and the Chileans. This ashtray is full of ash and cigar stubs. Newspaper articles on horse racing, hurdles, steeplechase and flat racing. He is a true enthusiast, Holmes. Betting slips for horse racing. The sums are quite impressive. It can be an expensive vice. This man had probably used all his savings. I asked Mycroft to find out some information on the WEA Coal Company. Here is his reply, and it is an interesting one. A telegraph. It appears that you may be at risk of some flooding along the line here. You mean that the whole bloody lake is at our feet? Quite so. But it is strange, because according to my map, there should be a quarry here, and behind that, the lake. How should I know? I only arrived here a few months ago. And where did you work before that? Well, I was working in Nottingham. But I asked for a quieter place, so they transferred me here. Life is cheaper. I can't really complain. Did any passengers leave or board the train last night? No. I saw no one as usual. I reported the train's passage by telegraph. Just the same as all the other nights. I observe that you are a gambling man, Mr. Duff. You had hoped that your relocation to this small town might have helped ease your addiction. But it was not to be. I beg your pardon? Addiction to what? We found a number of horse racing tickets inside your office. Well, well, we all have our weaknesses. 
An expensive obsession, surely, for a station master. It is none of your business. I occasionally attend the races with my colleagues. And anyway, that's my private life. There was a gentleman of Mexican origin, I believe, in the waiting room. Did you notice him? What? A Mexican? Here in the back of beyond? Are you quite sure about that? Goodbye, sir. It is obvious that we cannot inspect the quarry. Instead, we can check the beach area around the flooded lake. Watson, it seems that both South American companies were involved in the purchase of the mine. The man at Doncaster who fled our approach, he smokes Mexican cigars. Perhaps... Yes, Watson. We should certainly speak with him. Here we are at the beach that is located near the quarry and Doncaster station. It doesn't look like a very good place to... These traces were made by a carriage. Look. The distance between the tracks is about six feet, seven inches. The vehicle would have been heavy, as these tracks are quite deep. The vehicle pressed this stone into the ground. It would have been quite heavy. These traces are relatively fresh and were made by a large truck loaded with materials. The traces found at the disassembled shed near Evesham and at the lake were from the same vehicle. Observing the coastline and the moored boats, we are able to see that the lake's water level dropped. The lake has flooded the quarry. The dam was probably breached. A label with the name Las Zarpas. Here it is. Please, sir, we would ask you not to leave. We have some questions. Are you the police? 
No, we are employed by the railway company. We are collecting witness statements about the train that disappeared last night. Lo siento, I'm in a hurry. Really? It seemed that you were waiting here for someone. Could you tell us if you were at the station last night? No, I just arrived from South America. A formidable journey, no doubt. Which country are you from? De Chile. Chile, but you are Mexican. No, you are wrong. Why would you think I'm Mexican? Because of your cigars. Si, cigarrillos. So what? Those cigars are the Ricardo brand, from Mexico. It is quite impossible to find them anywhere but there. Pero not your business. I don't suppose that you are on vacation. What business brought you here? I was to meet my fellow compañeros. Where did you arrive yesterday? They were on that dumb train. I will stay here and hope that the authorities find them. Or their bodies. It's now my responsibility to repatriate them. Who authorized you to do that? The company I work for. Could you tell me the name of the company? It's not your concern. And what is your name? Enough questions. Buenas tardes. Not a very friendly man, and he is lying. He said that he just arrived, but we know that he has been here for several days. All these trains and railway stations, Chileans, Mexicans, and Robinson with his prototype at Holmes, I'm utterly lost.
Then the case is solved, Holmes. What do you intend to do? Well, I shall require assistance for the arrests. There were accomplices. Ah, but I know that look. You have your own ideas. What are they, Holmes? On the one hand, we have Mycroft and his tedious political games. He will locate the guilty parties without any trouble. But it will be a long and drawn-out process, and possibly with some compromise that will be to Mycroft's benefit. Our other option is the local constabulary, and advice from our friend Lestrade. The problem we have there is that the authorities seem to be incapable of acting quietly. They rely on brute force. It could result in an international scandal. All the same, I think that I prefer the forces methods. It would be better to resolve the case quickly and efficiently without any talk of politics. Let us go home, then. I'd like to begin writing a draft of this story. No, I did not say that we had finished here yet. Well, all right. What did I miss? Watson, we know that the Barcazas Company directors were drowned in the flooded quarry, along with the train and Robinson's prototype. But we still need to corner the guilty party. But how do you intend to prove... Oh, no. Please don't tell me we have to dive into the lake. Huh. You may rest assured that I have a far better idea. We have only to use our corrupt Doncaster Station Master as bait. He will unwittingly trap our Mexican friend. Of course, you already had a plan. I shall follow you, Holmes. Well, the case is solved, and we shall be heading home. May we have two tickets to London, please? Right away, what? Wait, wait a minute. You've solved the case? In a manner of speaking, can you believe that the rescue service miraculously saved one of the Chileans who were on board the train? The police have ordered his immediate escort to London on the next train. He pulled through, then? He's alive? Yes, by extreme good fortune. His condition is quite serious, and the method of transportation has its risk, but he will be held securely by the doctor and police officers. The gentleman carries some vital information on this case. I am sure of it. Ah, really? Your station will be famous, Mr. Duff. The journalists will be here before you know it. Goodbye, sir. Good goodbye, gentlemen. Gentlemen, you are under arrest. Caramba! You traitor! You double-crossed me! terrible ending to such a great case. There, there, my dear fellow. It is all right. You did your best. Then the case is solved, Holmes. What do you intend to do? Well, I shall require assistance for the arrests. 
there were accomplices. Ah, but I know that look. You have your own ideas. What are they, Holmes? On the one hand, we have the local constabulary and advice from our friend Lestrade. The problem we have there is that the authorities seem to be incapable of acting quietly. They rely on brute force. It could result in an international scandal. Our other option is Brother Mycroft and his tedious political games. He will locate the guilty parties without any trouble, but it will be a long and drawn-out process, and possibly with some compromise that will be to Mycroft's benefit. But I think I'd prefer to give Mycroft a chance. We should overlook our personal differences on this occasion. Let us go home, then. I'd like to begin writing a draft of this story. No, I did not say that we had finished here yet. Well, all right. What did I miss? Watson, we know that the Barcazas Company directors were drowned in the flooded quarry, along with the train and Robinson's prototype. But we still need to corner the guilty party. But how do you intend to prove... Oh, no. Please don't tell me we have to dive into the lake. Huh. You may rest assured that I have a far better idea. We have only to use our corrupt Doncaster Station Master as bait. He will unwittingly trap our Mexican friend. Of course, you already had a plan. I shall follow you, Holmes. Well, the case is solved, and we shall be heading home. And may we have two tickets to London, please? Right away, what? Wait, wait a minute. You've solved the case? In a manner of speaking, can you believe that the rescue service miraculously saved one of the Chileans who were on board the train? The police have ordered his immediate escort to London on the next train. It, it pulled through, then? He's alive? Yes, by extreme good fortune. His condition is quite serious, and the method of transportation has its risk, but he will be held securely by the doctor and police officers. The gentleman carries some vital information on this case. I am sure of it. Ah, really? Your station will be famous, Mr. Duff. The journalists will be here before you know it. Goodbye, sir. Go goodbye, gentlemen. Gentlemen, you are under arrest. Caramba! You traitor! You double-crossed me! Good shot, Watson. I always knew you were a talented marksman. I didn't want another life lost in this case, Holmes. Oh my god! I thought I was a dead man. You shouldn't be so glad about it. You'll be up before the judge. Your testimony will be of great importance to the investigation. I would remind you that your cooperation will be the best way to ease your sentence. By the way, Watson, would you be so kind as to give me some shooting lessons later on? Yes, but not in our sitting room and not with you wearing a blindfold. 